and uh, we are going to have an amazing amazing webinar tonight and i can also see sam has also joined us here perfect so we have already reached 100 participants guys where are you joining from type in the chat down below if you can't see the chat if you can't type in the chat tell us by raising your hands then we will enable the chat ah uh, people are raising their hands uh, so I request the team to enable the chat because uh, we are going to get this started. Chat is disabled. Yes, yes, yes. I agree that. I agree with that. Chat is disabled. We are going to enable it right now. And uh, yep, chat is currently enabled right now. And I can see all of you amazing guys joining from Toronto, Belfast, Quebec, Jamaica, Nepal, Nebraska, Ireland, Italy, entire world is here. Awesome. So good to see you all here. Sam, can you uh, say hello uh, to all the audience or can, uh, can I actually do the mic test? Hey guys, we get how's it going? Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. I can hear your voice pretty clearly. Okay. I hope you guys can hear my voice pretty clearly as well. And uh, Columbia, Toronto, may I have many people from Toronto. Go Canada. So several South of Spain, Italy, Germany, Zurich, Spain again. Awesome. Finland. I can also see hearts coming up. I, I think this is a very new feature where you can just react and all these hearts coming up. So during this uh, entire presentation, if you find any point interesting, just do me a favor and type in those hearts, you know, because I love that it'll, it'll, it gives us a signal that, Hey, this point we can wait is really, really good, really, really useful for you. Perfect. So yes, people are going thumbs up hearts and etc. East Lake, Greater Canvi Island. Awesome. So we are going to start this presentation in the next 60 seconds because uh, it takes time for Zoom to notify people. All are just coming in. So we're going to wait for another 60 seconds before we get this started. And today's presentation, guys, if you've joined in, we're going to have something good for you. Something really valuable because you guys have been showing us a lot of love, especially for Chat Sonic. So we decided that, hey, it's time because you guys have also been asking a lot of questions. Questions like, is Chat Sonic, uh, how does Chat Sonic compare to Chat GPT? Or questions like, what else can I use Chat Sonic for? Am I using Chat Sonic for, for, to its fullest potential? There are a ton of questions like that, and we are here to answer them all and show you how you can use Chatsonic to get the maximum ROI out of your subscription. So we are waiting for another 30 more seconds before we get this started. And until then, I'm going to be looking at all of you who are joining in. Manoj, Alexander, Mary, Lee, Jeff, Francis, Mustafa. Olivia, Bhupal, Yona, Cornelia, Laurie, Kazuiro, Felipe, Ryan, Monica. Oh my goodness. All your amazing people. I think some of the people who are already here from the previous webinars as well. If you're here from the previous webinar, type in yes or something. I want to see who are our regular people, you know. Ralph is from our previous webinar. Jonathan, no, it's always a first time for everything. I'm glad this is your first webinar with us. Yona, I'm glad to as well, because this is right. Sonic's third webinar of this year. And oh boy, we're just getting warmed up. We have a lot of guests coming up for you in our upcoming uh, days and weeks, plus a lot of value planned for you. Topics around SEO topics, around content marketing topics, around generating the most optimized SEO articles, topics around various other copywriting related stuff we have planned for you guys in the coming weeks and months, but today's topic, let's finally get it started. So, and uh, let me get this started. Where am I broadcasting from Joseph? I'm broadcasting from India. So in three, two, one, I think it's recording. It's live streaming as well. So perfect. Let's officially start this webinar. Hi guys. My name is Minank. I'm the community manager at Right, Sonic, and joining us, we have Samanyu Garg, who is the CEO and founder of Right Sonic. Today, we are joining live with you because we have two things to say for you. The number one thing is 
we want to say thanks why because you guys have been showing a ton of love for us you guys have been telling your friends about chatsonic you guys have been telling many people about chatsonic you guys have been reporting bugs about chatsonic you guys have been using the tool so much that it's making the tool better and better every single day we begin we've been getting all your love on our discord server our facebook community and also many youtubers are just covering us and i absolutely love it when people are using chatsonic and writing sharing their work with us second thing is what we are here for is to help you get the maximum roi out of chatsonic because we've been getting questions as well a lot of questions like how can i actually use this for my business how can i use this for marketing how can i maybe use this for you know i don't know you guys tell me right so we actually made a list of prompts as well i'm going to be giving you at the end of this webinar the prompts that you can use it's like a sheet you can just refer all the prompts the prompts are so many prompts that we have collected and curated they they are ranging from marketing to business to content to web development for education for teachers for music yes many people are generating music and poems using chatsonic many people are using it for art generation as well many people are also using it to generate recipes so lot of use cases to cover in today's webinar so sam how are you feeling today feeling very excited to be here i think chatsonic we launched a couple of um, weeks back we have been seeing very good engagement and very good kind of feedback from everyone so very excited to show you what all you can do with chatsonic and then also we'll do some a quick q and a after you know i show some demos and then we can also answer your questions on how or what you would like to see in chatsonic and maybe in the next webinar we'll implement those features and we would love to kind of show it back to you perfect perfect sam with that being said let's get this webinar started and before we get started a couple of ground rules number 1 use the q and a section to answer ask all your questions because that's where we can track all your questions with chat it's just so many people typing uh, so many things and it just gets scrolled away you know that that's why please use the q and a section to type in all your questions because we would love to take on them we would love to answer all of them norana uh, noriana lawrence please uh, do uh, ask your questions in the q and a section because we're going to miss it if it's in the chat second thing is if you find anything useful i would say grab a sheet of uh, and a pen and then note it down because what's happening is that in this ever changing world if you learn how to use ai to your benefit every single day whether it is for your marketing whether it is for your business whether it is for your creative tasks you can just outsource it directly to the ai and if you're using it every day you're saving a lot of time use the time tracker do this experiment this week let me know how much time you saved in in the community all right so keep all the distractions away because we're going to tell you how to get the most out of chatsonic over to you sam i think i've spoken enough and uh, you can just share your screen i hope you can start sharing your screen i can i'll just share let's see can you see chat, just chatsonic is is the new just google it awesome <laughs> great so yes we can see your screen sam over to you awesome so very excited to chat with you guys here so i'll just quickly introduce chatsonic if some of the people might not know so chatsonic is basically an ai powered chatbot if you have used chat gpt very similar to chat gpt but we bypass some of the limitations that um, chat gpt has which you know one of which is kind of Uh, up to date content so if you know like chat gpt is restricted to 2021 data like it can't answer any questions or write any content after that um so that is where we uh, integrate google inside chatsonic and we are able to kind of answer questions or write content on any topic whether that is from today or one week back or you know whenever you want essentially so it knows it has that inherent knowledge base where it knows about almost every single thing and just uh here's just like a brief list of things where you know these are the core features of chatsonic which we have right now and then of course we have lots of other things coming up as well so first as i just mentioned we sort of integrate google within our chatsonic so that you can get real time and up to date responses 
Uh, we also integrate DALI and Stable Diffusion for image generation. I'll show it to you in a while. Uh, voice commands, so just like how you chat with Siri or Google Assistant, you can kind of do speech to text. So you're talking something, it, uh, it will kind of draft it down. And then you can also ask chat so to read back the response that uh, it generates. Uh, apart from that, you can, you know, select personalities like, you know, poets or astrologer or translator and so on. And then finally, you can also, you know, edit, copy, download, share. You can open any content that we generate inside Sonic Editor directly, or, you know, you can uh, export as PDF Word and, and so on. So I'll just quickly give a brief uh, tour of the user interface, just so that you're aware of, you know, what all elements we have here. So this is like the Chat Sonic uh, app. You can, you know, come here directly from this button where it says Chat Sonic, and uh, uh, you, you'll find this chat text box here. Uh, you'll also find like a drop down here where you can choose any personality, as I just mentioned. So if you choose, for example, interviewer, uh, Chat Sonic will kind of become an interviewer and you'll be able to kind of uh, like do, an, do a mock interview with it. Or let's say if you choose stand up comedian, you can ask Chat Sonic to come up with different jokes on you know topics that you want. Uh, by default, we set, set it to general AI, which is what we recommend you set it to if you are, you know, if you want to write any kind of business or professional content or any, you know, answers. So that is like the default general AI. So I'll just leave it there for now. Uh, apart from that, you'll see two more buttons here. So one is include latest Google data. So switching this thing on, it will kind of use Google uh, Google's knowledge graph to provide factual and up-to-date content. Um, we don't recommend using this for everything because it, you know, it is a bit costly. So basically use this only for um, things where you need factual or real time information. For example, if you wanted to ask like, you know, like, like an example here, tell, tell me more about the upcoming meteor event. So that is where you would use this because by default, uh, AI won't have an idea about that. Whereas if you're doing something like, you know, write me a landing page copy or a Facebook ad about something, you won't necessarily need uh, Google data there. So I'll just turn it on for now. And then we have this button or switch here called enable memory. So what this helps you do is uh, if this is turned on, uh, Chat Sonic will remember the last two messages in your conversation. So for example, the last two messages were about writing some email. It will remember that. And then you can ask follow-up questions uh, on top of that. Uh, currently, we only remember last two questions. Um, you know, again, this is like a cost factor there. But uh, we are releasing like a new update where you will you will be able to kind of choose how many messages you want uh, Chat Sonic to remember. Um, and then on the top left corner, uh, these are just some buttons here. You know, we are just uh, launching our Chrome extension. So this is in beta. We haven't even announced it yet. We already have six thousand users there. Basically, this is like a Chat Sonic extension where you can use Chat Sonic um, next to Google or on any website, wherever you want to generate content or rephrase or rewrite content. So we'll make a separate webinar for this, where we'll show lots of these amazing features that we are planning to build. We are building integrations with Gmail, where you can click a button and it will uh, generate a reply to your email or on Twitter, you, you know, if there's a Twitter thread, you can ask it to summarize that thread or generate a reply to that thread and, and so on. So we'll come back to that. Uh, apart from that, we also have a Twitter bot. If you haven't already tried it out, do try it out. Uh, all you need to do is you just tag uh, at ChatSonic AI and you will be able to use ChatSonic's capabilities on Twitter for free. And uh, we also have a Discord community, which, you know, uh, Meenank, where you can, you know, chat with Meenank, he'll be able to answer any questions. Uh, he's very active there and we kind of answer support requests as well as we take on feature requests, you know, have general discussions as well. So yeah, that's about this section. And then finally, we have a settings section here where you can uh, choose the location where you want your data from. Uh, by default, it is United States, but let's say if you want data from uh, UK or Canada or somewhere else, you can choose that. So it will give, uh, it will take Google responses from that location. Text to speech, uh, pretty self-explanatory. If you turn that on, any of the responses that come back the results, uh, Chat Sonic will speak those out. And then stable, uh, uh, sorry, images. So this is for which model you want to use to generate images. By default, we use stable diffusion. You can also use OpenAI's DALI if you wish there. 
And uh, this is like a share button. This I'll show later on once we generate something. All right, so let's get started. So uh, first of all, I'll just take you know the you know one of the examples here uh, where I'll use uh, Google uh, like the Google switch turned on. So I'll just say you know tell me about the upcoming Meteor event that is happening this month. So I'll just click on that. It will paste the text here, and I'll send it over. Now with Google turned on, uh, it takes a bit of time, you know, about 10 to 15 seconds because we go to Google, we fetch the relevant information from there. And then we use that to kind of generate an answer to the question. So here, yeah, if you can see it is writing word by word. And then we also recently added this feature where it adds references to the um, original blog posts or the, you know, pieces of content or articles where it took that uh content from like we don't write the exact content but basically wherever it took that inspiration from that is something we kind of mentioned there um so it's still writing takes a couple of seconds with google turned on and uh, additionally what it does is you know uh, each of these references are linked to the original uh kind of links there so we'll we'll see in a while it's a bit slow right now because <laughs> we we have like thousands of users using chat sonic um but yeah it, sh it should be able to generate quickly all right almost there so i think pre pretty detailed response um so yeah if you see it has written kind of a quite a big paragraph there and it has linked to these uh, articles so if you open any of those articles it's like this is in the sky.org uh and then ams uh, meteors.org and then foxweather so all of them are kind of legit sites and uh, these three sites it basically took the information from so it has added the reference you can go to those sites and even you know ask more information there now i can ask a follow-up question over here so i have the enable memory turned on if you turn it off you won't be able to ask follow-up question it will treat it as a new conversation but in this case i have turned it on now i can ask it any follow-up question like i can ask um will it be you know visible in uh, let's say United Kingdom. So in this case, what it will do is based on the previous answer that we had uh, and the information that we got from uh, Google, it will be kind of able to, uh, you know, answer that question. Oops. I actually love the references feature, you know, that is like, I can check it and people in the comment section are also telling me that, Hey, I love the references are shown with the information. Yes, guys, it's been, it's all because of your feedback. We've been working on your feedback. We take your feedback seriously. So yes, you guys asked for references and the references are there. We just added references like, you know, two weeks back. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah so here if you see it has answered that question so you know it says it, it will not be visible in united kingdom since its radiant point never rises above the horizon and then again we have some links here uh if you see these are not kind of like the same links it has added some different links here because it kind of again went to google took that information from google and then kind of answered that so yeah that is for that part uh, apart from that, what you can also do is, as I was mentioning about image generation, so this is something that Chatsonic supports as well. So for example, I'll just enter, you know, this prompt where I'm saying, create an HD wallpaper with a super sports, uh, uh, you know, super cool sports car racing on the track. So I'll just send it. Ferrari, Ferrari. I hope it generates Ferrari, please. That's my favorite. Come on, Chatsonic. Don't let me down. <laughs> Super cool sports car. Interesting. I'm curious what it's going to generate it. And, and here, by default, we use stable diffusion. If you want, uh, you know, you can also use uh, Dali here. It's your preference there. That's Porsche. Okay. That's Porsche. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. So, all right. yeah, I mean, if you specify here Ferrari sports car, then it will, of course, give you Ferrari there. Perfect. And yes. uh, yeah, you can also download these images from here. So images is something you can generate. And the more detailed you write your prompt over here, the, the better image that you will get. So for example, if you write, 
uh, you know, create an HD wallpaper off a Ferrari sports car that is red in color, it will give you just, just that that you've asked for. Um, so that is one more thing. Now let's try generating some copies. So let's say if we wanted to generate a Facebook ad copy, so I can say something like, you know, write a, exactly as you would say, so write a Facebook ad copy for the launch of chat sonics, uh, you know, let's say our Chrome extension. I'll turn on memory because I'll ask some follow-up questions there. And for this, I won't turn on Google because I don't need to go to Google to fetch data. Um, the AI already knows about chat sonic. So I'll just send it over. Have you guys already tried the Chrome extension? If not, you should definitely try it out because it's already live. Some of you guys have not heard about Chrome extension. When I keep talking to you, they're like, okay, you guys have a Chrome extension too. Yes, we do. So do try the Chrome extension out. Right. So here, yeah, if you see it kind of wrote the um, ad copy for the Chrome extension of Chat Sonic. Now what you can also do is, um, within the same, uh, you know, cause I have memory turned on. So I can say, uh, rewrite the above uh, and add lots of emojis. So if I wanted to add emojis there, I can just specify that. Oops. Is that and like a Chrome extension hack uh, to include emojis <laughs> in the description? Emojis and, you know, the lots of other things you can do. So for example, if you wanted to include some keyword there, uh -huh. uh, you can say something like, you know, rewrite the above and include the keyword, um, let's say Chrome extension or Google, let's say. So you can uh, kind of add those uh, things in the prompt as well. Apart from that, you can do something like, um, for example, if you wanted to totally paraphrase it in a funny tone of voice or in a, uh, maybe like a, some other tone of voice. So that is something you can do as well. You can say, you know, just rewrite the above in, in this tone of voice and it will be able to kind of love do that it. for you. Love it. Love it. Because I usually employ this uh, casual tone while generating my copies, while generating announcements. I don't want to make it sound too professional. So I, I like that tone tonality feature also, guys. If you haven't been using that tone, you can specify that tone guys. Yeah. Tone is very kind of important. One of the most asked features as well. So definitely very useful. So apologies for the, you know, it's kind of a bit slow right now because we're getting like a lot of traffic on the site. We are working on upgrading our servers, but yeah, here, if you see, I just resend that um, same prompt and uh, it took this and it kind of added emojis to that. If you see the content is still the same, but it added emojis, you know, everywhere, like lots of different ones. And if you see the emojis are quite relevant. So it mentioned, plus it's totally free and it added that dollar, uh, smiling dollar emoji there. Damn. Nice. All right. So that was about that. Now what I'll do is um, we just prepared a couple of different uh, prompts just for this demo, where we'll showcase a couple of different use cases that you can do with chat Sonic. So for example, starting with SEO, or, you know, a lot of our audience wants to do SEO or marketing. So that is where, you know, some of the things you can do is, for example, I'll, I'll just copy this one. So generate a list of 10 keyword ideas on the topic AI writer for businesses, students, and freelancers. So this is something you can use to come up with keyword ideas if you wanted to, you know, uh, do the keyword research or come up with some keywords for a blog post or a piece of content that you're writing. So um, I'll send that over. And what this will do is, of course, you know, it will come back with a couple of uh, keyword ideas there. And as you can see, kind of wrote 10 of them, AI writing software, AI content generators, AI writing analytics, AI powered writing platforms, came up with 10 ideas related to AI writer. Now, what we can do is, you know, send a follow-up question there. Now, let's say if you wanted to kind of do a topic kind of clustering there. So what you can do is, you know, add a follow-up question there. So, you know, and, and I have memory turned on if you see, so I can say, you know, cluster this list of keywords, you know, the output keywords that we got uh, according to funnel stages. So, you know, in marketing, you have the top of the funnel, bottom of the funnel, and, and also the middle of the funnel. So, 
here I'm just saying cluster this list of keywords into these three funnel stages. So let's send that over. And basically it classifies each of those keywords into the relevant kind of buckets, like top of, top of the funnel, bottom or middle. That's uh, actually a smart way to classify, you know, because uh, we are always trying to see, okay, which kind of article we need to write, which kind of funnel we need to target. And here AI itself is doing all the job, like top of the funnel. Yeah. It's writing solutions process, writing assistance, middle of the funnel. It's writing tools, writing software. And bottom of the funnel, I think it will be around content creation or something. So it's still loading. Yeah. But uh, here, if you see, so it wrote, you know, uh, the heading top of the funnel keywords and these four keywords come under top of the funnel, middle of the funnel, you, you know, you have these AI writing tools, software generators, and then um, bottom of the funnel, you have uh, still writing. I think it's still so, generating. Yeah. Yeah, bottom of the funnel, you have content creation, yeah. writing analytics, and AI powered writing platforms there. So, yeah, that's one of the SEO use cases there. Another one is let's say if you wanted it to kind of come up with a comprehensive backlinking strategy. So, that is something you can say, you know, and every time you say something, you always start with like an action there. So, for example, uh, give me a comprehensive backlinking strategy for ranking my blog post for this specific keyword. Uh, quick two, three tips here. So, uh, I'll, I'll send it until then. So basically here, uh, always kind of start with an action verb there, like, you know, create this or give me this. If you say something like, can you do this or can you make me a backlinking strategy or something like that, it, it usually doesn't tend to, you know, give you the exact thing. It will try to answer it like a question instead of, you know, giving you the exact uh, thing that you asked for. So basically what we recommend is you start with an action verb there and then ask it specifically like, you know, uh, create the strategy or, you know, uh, create this image or write something. So that is one quick tip there. Another thing is that if you are talking about some keywords or some uh, specific things, topics and that kind of stuff, uh, kind of put that in these quotes. So if you put it in double quotes, um, that kind of gives it a bit more preference to, you know, take that as a keyword and then, you know, do something on top of that. So yeah, kind of use these quotations to uh, focus on a specific uh, piece of text there. So yeah, here it kind of uh, spit out like a comprehensive backlinking strategy. So it's saying first identify the websites in your niche using tools like, you know, SEMrush and Moz and all that. Next, prioritize quality, create content, and then use social media platforms and you know, automated uh, tools like, you know, Ahrefs and all that is also talking about. So kind of gave a, a backlinking strategy there. And just as before, you can also ask follow-up questions again and, you know, ask it to do something or come up with something more based on the previous response that it gave. So that was the other thing. Similarly, let's say if you wanted to write a guest post, guest blog post, uh, you can say something like, you know, write a super engaging and creative outreach email to a content marketer on the topic. Again, as you see, uh, I put this in quotes, AI writing. And then within the email, I also gave one more instruction. So not just one instruction, you can give two instructions to the AI as well. So you can say now within the email, include five catchy topic suggestions for our guest blog post as well. Uh, so yeah, that is one other kind of example there. Now, this is another very kind of cool one. So what I'll do is um, I have this TechCrunch article open where, you know, Apple executives talk about M2 chips. So I'll just copy it and uh, I'll turn Google on and I'll say, just summarize this and I'll give it that link. So what uh, Chatsonic will do here is it will kind of go to Google, it will find um, kind of information about that specific uh, topic, you know, that uh, link that you gave it, and it will try to kind of summarize that here. Now, one thing what you can do on top of this is, uh, you can also say, uh, convert this into a Twitter tweet, let's say. So what this will do is it will take the summary or, you know, whatever information you got and will convert that into a uh, tweet here. 
so yeah if you see so two line tweet it also added some hashtags there so a lot of things you can do with links one other example is same link i'll just paste it here and then i'll directly say um write a social media post on this so yeah it's writing So yeah, directly it kind of took it and kind of rephrased it and turned it into like a short social media post. A lot of things you can do with links. You can also do kind of, uh, you know, things like you can say, uh, analyze this, the meta tags of this post and give me some suggestions and, you know, lots of different kind of ideas you can play around with in terms of links as well. Uh, apart from that, I think someone in the chat was mentioning a while back about transcripts and, you know, doing sort of uh, kind of using videos or audio as input for chat sonic so that is something we are coming up with soon as well where um you know you would be able to kind of upload let's say some video or some uh, audio essentially and from that you will be able to get the transcript or convert that into a blog post or a social media post so that all also we are kind of bringing very very soon as well all right now just some examples for marketing so for example you know you wanted to make a social media uh, calendar for uh, you know you had a fitness app so you know i just wrote craft a one month social media campaign calendar for my fitness app with the goal to increase the user base and mention the relevant channels to focus so very specific instruction i have given here uh, here i've specified craft you can use any other action verb as well like you can say create as well to do the job um, and the more specific you are, for example, here I mentioned my fitness app and then also mentioned the goal, which is to increase the user base, then it will kind of try to answer in a more specific way rather than giving you some general instructions there. So again, for this one, we don't need Google or memory really. So I'll just turn those off and then I'll just send it to chat Sonic. This is going to be exciting. Goals. Wow. This is actually making an entire report generating all the channels the social media thing especially excites me because it's going so detailed like when to launch the trailer when to launch the teaser when to highlight the features of the app when to go with the user generated content this is what i used to do few uh two to three years ago for brands and all of this of, of course the it, I, it's I'm speechless. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing for people who yeah. don't know marketing. This is so useful. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So yeah, if you don't know copywriting, you don't know, you know, about some of the marketing aspect aspects. Uh, so as you can see here, it came back with the goals channels, like it's mentioning Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, also explore Pinterest and Reddit calendar again, week wise calendar for the whole month, week one, uh, weeks one to four. And then first month, create a teaser video, second month, you know, launch trailer, user generated content, then uh, ads and stuff as, as well, it mentioned. So that is, you know, one bit, you can also ask it to come up with like a, like a plan for your blog, like, you know, come up with 10 I, uh, topic ideas that I should focus on this week for my, uh, let's say, fitness blog. So that kind of stuff you can also try out here. Uh, prompts, usually the writing style stays the same. You just kind of focus on some keywords or change the context there and should be able to kind of pick up quite easily there. Uh, let's try one more. So here, what we are saying is generate five pointers for the key market segments in the fitness industry. So we are identifying, you know, the key market segments. Uh, and which one represents the biggest opportunity for our mobile app that helps track fitness goals. So again, very specific uh, instruction. I started with an action verb there, and then I kind of uh, gave it details about my uh, industry, which is the fitness industry. And then I also mentioned about my mobile app that helps users track their fitness goals. So that gives a bit more context to Chatsonic, and it is able to come back with uh, you know very specific uh, content there. So yeah, for the market segments, it chose women over 45, millennials, men over 45, high income earners, and those with limited mo mobility. So yeah, I mean, it came back with exactly what we asked for. Uh, let's try one more. 
So here, this is an interesting one. Um, here, what we are doing is we are asking it to um, work on some marketing metrics. So for example, you know, you have spent $100 on a marketing campaign and as a, as a result, you got five clicks or like five customers. Then what would be the customer acquisition cost? And we are saying, you know, provide step-by-step -step, uh, process for the same, like how it calculates and does that. So I'll just paste that in. This is actually an interview question and uh, I feel this is like one of the interviewer asks you like, yeah, in the marketing campaign and then just slowly type into chat Salik and ah, oh, this is great actually. Yeah. yeah. So it defines the formula first and then it kind of mentioned that the, you know, CAC would be hundred, you know, by five, that's $20. And then the step-by-step -step process for that, you know, calculate the total cost, divide the total cost by number of customers. And then the result would be your customer acquisition cost. So yeah, this is something you can do uh, as well. And then uh, this one, I already showed you, turn this blog post into a social media, you know, post. That is something I, as I just showed you like a social media and, you know, you can do also email. So like you can take a blog post and say, can you turn this blog post into an email or a video script? So a lot of things you can do, especially with, with links here. Now, one thing, I don't know if there are any coders here, if there are any programmers, you can use chat Sonic for programming as well. So let's say if you wrote some piece of code, uh, in this case, I'll just take this sample JavaScript uh, snippet. Um, you can just paste that in. Uh, usually if you're writing code, uh, you should put like three ticks there. So, you know, like that. So if you put three ticks, that basically tells uh, the model, the AI model, that this this piece of code, uh, this piece of text is a code. So just put that and it also helps make it, you know, uh, like format it properly based on the language. So here, what I'm doing is find the bug with this code and I've uh, done the three ticks. It's not rendering here properly, properly the three ticks, but um, I've just put three ticks and then I've put like uh, some sample code here. I'll click the send, send button. So it automatically formatted that if you see, and then it kind of specifies, um, you know, what is wrong with the code here. And below that, it will also give you a fixed um, kind of version of that code as well. I think it's pretty useful for explaining the concepts. Like, I think it can also find bugs in the code, explains the concept, whether it is coding or whether it is marketing. So I think it's a very good tool for you, your personal learning as well. It is, it is. So it, it kind of helps, you know, you can, whenever you're get, uh, getting stuck, you can ask it to, you know, help out with the next part of the code, or you can also find bugs in your code as well. Um, so next, what I'll do is, uh, let's try preparing an outline for a presentation deck. So I've just written the same thing again, write the outline of a, I've just specified the number here. So if you want a, a specific set of uh, things like a number there, you should specify that. So just say, uh, you know, written, uh, write the outline of a 10 page slide deck on this topic. Again, uh, quotations, how AI is changing the content marketing industry. And again, quotes, uh, closing quotes. I'll send it back. And yeah, it's basically writing the outline for that. By the way, quick pointer on that. Uh, we are also working on something called Slide Sonic, which will be, you know, we'll be releasing out very soon. Wow. So if you if you would like something like that, you know, if you would like to do a beta trial of that, um, do post in the comments. And just to give you an overview, what you will be able to do essentially on Google Slides, uh, you know, you'll be able to kind of have this kind of embedded feature where, you know, it will give you a pop-up. It will ask you which topic you want to write the deck on, how many slides you want, which tone you want, and then, you know, some other options, like if you want to include any images, AI generated images, or sort of like royalty free images from sites like Unsplash and Pexels and so on. And you click a button, it will, within a couple of seconds, it will come back with the entire deck um, that you can, you know, uh, either use as it is, or you can also kind of, um, you know, fine tune and further improve on as well. Absolutely. So I think, yeah, you we should also see a poll. A poll on Slidesonic and uh, converts text to slides, guys. We're just revealing it right now in the webinar. And this is the new thing that we've been working on, especially for people 
who create slides, who create presentations. And uh, this is the one for you. So what now would you like to see such a tool or feature? And since you guys are already in the chat asking for beta testing and everything, I would say reach out to us on discord. You can see the discord logo on the top beside chat Sonic. That's yeah. Here. So like would that. recommend you guys to join discord. Um, we are very active on discord. We take in feedback and suggestions on any new features. Uh, we also give out kind of early access to new features to, you know, some of our power users there. So do join the discord group and we would love to kind of have you there. I can also see some discord users already here. This is uh, Joseph. Um, you guys have been asking ton of questions already in discord, making use of the playground channel where it's a separate channel guys. You just join discord and you'll get to know how you can use. There's a ton of surprises inside Discord for you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just one more example here. So what I've done here is, you know, let's say some, you know, recent kind of product was announced. For example, iPhone, you know, 14 Pro was announced. Let's, ima uh, let's imagine that. Um, you can ask it to write comparison blog posts or paragraphs or, you know, any other pieces of content. So like here, I've just said, compare the iPhone 14 Pro with the 13 Pro. And here it kind of, you know, listed down all the features and all and added proper references there. And, uh, you know, even the Apple, Apple site as, as well. Um, and yeah, so you'll be able to kind of create these comparison blog post reviews of some, uh, you know, certain products, technical guides. So all that we are also building, you know, like a prompt library here as well. So you'll be able to kind of use other people's prompts and you'll be able to kind of share your own prompt so other people can use it as well. And then of course, we'll have our right Sonic uh, you know, chat Sonic uh, kind of editor choice prompts as well, so that you can, you know, see and use the best prompts that people are working on and take advantage of that. So that was about the general AI mode. I'll just quickly, very quickly jump into the personality bit. So here, you know, as I just mentioned, you can choose between these different personalities. I know some people ask for other personalities as well. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll add like a, a, you know, like a feedback button over here, or you can tell us on Discord as well, um, which personalities you see missing here. And we'll kind of try to add that as soon as possible. So just an example here, let's say I chose poet. Um, now I can say something like, you know, tell me a poem about, you know, love, or I can say, tell me a poem about marketing, let's say. And what this will do is uh, it, it acts as an actual poet and it tries to generate um, content specific to that personality or, or persona over there. Sam, I thought the Valentine's Day is around the corner. You've just backspaced love and mean put marketing in it. Ah. <laughs> Good, but guys, you can use it to generate poems about love because uh, Valentine's Day is just around the corner. I think in another week or so, you can use Chatsonic to generate uh, pickup lines. You can use Chatsonic to generate quotes and, of course, poems. You say <laughs> people in the comments are like, "You saved my, uh, saved me for Valentine's. Awesome, awesome." <laughs> So yeah, as you saw there, I chose poet there and kind of wrote a poem. Similarly, let's say, you know, we can do something like, you know, travel guide. And here you can say something like, um, what are some of the hidden gems to explore in London, let's say, and it will answer it just like a, like a, like an expert travel guide would do. People in London, confirm us if uh, these are the places you want a new person visiting London to go. Are these the hidden gems? Have you ever been? I know some people are who are watching this from London, so let us know. Interesting. Interesting. All right. So, yeah, I mean, just like that, we have a couple of other ones, as I mentioned, you know, you can do translations, you can do kind of jokes, you can, uh, you know, if you're feeling a bit demotivated, you can ask the motivational coach um, to kind of give you some ideas there or, you know, cheer you up. So lots of things you can do there. Um, I think, yeah, that's kind of about it. We'll definitely, we are working on some other features that we'll be having another webinar and, you know, we'll be announcing them very soon. Um, and apart from that, the Chatsonic Chrome extension, still in beta, 
but uh, would definitely recommend that you kind of try it out. Some of the other advanced features like the Gmail and you know the Twitter and LinkedIn bit that I mentioned, that is coming soon, but you should be able to kind of use, uh, uh, still use Chat Sonic anywhere that you kind of want there. So yeah, I think that's about it. I think we can open up the Q&A session. Taking 100%, some questions. 100%. So first I'll be pasting the chat sonic chrome extension link in the chat guys because some of you are like okay where is this i can't find so i've just pasted in the chat for you guys to access it open it in new tab and uh, let's answer all the questions but before we get on to the questions guys how was this webinar for you was it useful just let us know in the chat yes or no yes those emojis are coming in again love it <laughs> love it <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Awesome. 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 So good to. Okay, we have another poll. Yes. Guys, do answer this poll because uh, we collect all your uh, feedback and uh, using this feedback, we just discuss every day and uh, generate the, you know, the tool based on what you like from the references that was based on your feedback. And now the AI art generation inside chat Sonic, that is again, based on your feedback, the free word generations every day, that's again, based on your feedback. So we are all hands-on with your feedback. So do what in the chat. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to be looking at the Q and a section and I'm going to be answering all the questions. Uh, how about we take one by one from the top there and kind of answer those. Perfect. So, um, Will Chatsonic uh, give uh, more than 2000 words in output? That's so, the very first question. Yeah. Right. So this is something we are kind of, um, kind of adding very soon. So basically under settings, uh, you'll, you'll have the option to choose between kind of short and long lens there. So if you want to kind of save on costs or save on your word credits, you can use the short one, or, you know, if you want to write a blog post, uh, sorry, a social media post or smaller pieces of content, you can use that. And then for longer pieces of content, you can definitely use our, uh, kind of the longer, uh, option there and get longer responses up to like, you know, I don't know about thousand words, uh, 2000 words, but definitely thousand to 1500 words. That is something that we are adding. Um, we might also be adding, so AI article writer 4.0, that's like, you know, one of our most popular features. So. I think we might add a kind of like a native integration for that as well, where you can say something like write a blog post and we'll use article writer 4.0 to come up with like an SEO optimized blog post for you. Perfect. So I hope that answers the question. Absolutely. Um, and we have had multiple questions around how the word count works with the premium subscription. Right. So the way it works right now, we are still experimenting this out, uh, but the way it works is whether you are a paid user or a free user, currently you get about 25 free generations per day. So that is, you know, something that you get there. Um, if you use, uh, you know, like Google turned on or the memory option turned on, you're charged kind of double there just because it costs us uh, a lot more, if, you know, in comparison to the normal mode. But yeah, once you use up those 25 generations, um, you know, like with the paid plans, just like you use, you know, any of our other rights on features like article writer or Facebook ads or, you know, whatever other tool, uh, we basically charge you based on the number of premium words that you generate. So if you see here on the bottom right corner, um, by default, let's say, you know, let's say you have used your free generations and you're generating some content. If you have Google and memory both turned off, then we charge you one by four times the number of words that you get in the output. So for example, if you generated a thousand word blog post using chat sonic will only charge you one by four of that which is 250 words if google and memory are turned off whereas if any of those things are turned on then we you know if you see it kind of doubles there so basically we charge you half the number of words that you got in your output so that's how it works it's a bit complex but we, we are looking to kind of simplify it if uh, it even further yeah perfect perfect so another simple question, is this a free service or we have to purchase? We do offer a free trial for you to check it out. So you can sign up with uh, uh, writesonic.com and uh, check it this out. And if it, if you feel this tool is helping you out, which I'm sure it will, you can subscribe for the plans. So next question that we have is uh, 
are there extensions for browsers other than chrome yeah so not yet but you know when we are releasing the the final version the you know like right now it's still in beta but you know in a week we are releasing the final version that's when we'll also launch once that is launched within a day or so we'll also launch um a firefox F- firefox extension as well as a microsoft edge extension as well are those two kind of browsers that you would like to have or are there any other browser that you guys would like us to support as well so do let us know that i think firefox covers the most of the part and uh, the next question is uh, wh- this is the one question that's been coming out a lot and james that is basically like could you demonstrate the make your own ai tool i'm not sure how to use it effectively james the first thing is i'm going to i'm making a video it's going to come out tomorrow on our youtube channel we'll be posting it everywhere in our community as well a lot of questions around the make your own ai tool so we'll be definitely be releasing a video tomorrow so keep an eye on that right and uh, can how do we request for personalities can you add engineer personality out there <laughs> very interesting <laughs> Very so yeah as yeah. i mentioned you can request on our discord channel we'll also maybe add like a quick feedback button here where you can um, ask as well but yeah we'll we'll add more personalities there yeah perfect and next question is about slide sonic beta testing guys uh, do uh, talk to me come to the discord channel and uh, we will get you sorted with slide sonic we are excited for you to try it out by the way because we all use it for presentations so how does um, next question is uh, can i add my own data to chat sonic and have it answer questions based on the text i gave it so it's that is something yeah. yeah that is something we get a lot of feature requests about so that is something we are definitely considering so not yet but um, very soon i think we we might bring that feature where you can upload your own documents and you can uh, do two three things there either you can you know query it you can ask certain questions in natural language or you can also you know generate new content which looks like your you know the the document that you just uploaded so very soon we we are kind of planning that out so very soon we'll be releasing that yeah perfect perfect next question is by yona and i would like to take this because i personally uh can relate with this one sure, this one sure. is says how are you addressing the problem ai generated text is facing with all this ai text doctors like about the plagiarism will chat sonic have a feature to make text sound like it was written by a human so i would like to take the first part and sa- second part sam would uh, answer it i actually used the uh, i mean input the text in a tool called originality it is the currently the number one tool to detect plagiarism and everything and when i took it from the ai article writer when especially when writing article it says 0% plagiarism yes you can try it out yourself in the plagiarism tool check it out because we have done our test and uh, it is plagiarism free if you are using the ai article writer 4.0 for your articles other than that sam would you like to take the second part which is will chatsonic have a feature to make the text sound like it was written by a human so i mean it it already kind of makes it sound like a human <laughs> uh if it if you mean like more like a specific human like in the writing style of a specific person like you know i don't know shakespeare or einstein or someone uh that is something yeah we, i mean we can add it or in the prompt itself you can specify like you know let's say if you were writing a social media post so you can say something like write a social media post in the writing style of shakespeare let's say and that should do the job for you if it doesn't do let us know and we can kind of build build something around that perfect perfect and what languages can chat sonic handle so currently the major one out of the box that we are supporting is english but a lot of the other uh, european languages as well like spanish french german italian uh, you know couple of other ones as well uh, chat sonic should be able to kind of answer that so either you can give your prompt in that language or you can you know say something like you know write this is this in this language and then chat sonic should be able to easily handle that perfect can we use this chatbot on our website to help answer visitors questions and is there an api for that api is something we do have so uh, we do have the api um meenak if you have the link maybe if you can just post it there or for, sure, for, for the sure. team members yeah absolutely 
So yeah, API we do have and using the chatbot on your site, that is something that is in the in the works. So we'll we'll kind of do an announcement around that when you'll be able to kind of take chat sonic, train on your own data, and then use it on your own site, just like uh, you know, whether that is for customer experience or you know, for an internal kind of chatbot or you know, whatever else. So you you, you will be able to do that very soon. Yeah. Perfect. Guys, we have pasted the API link in the chat. So you can have a look at it because there's a ton of questions regarding API. Yes, we do offer an API. You can check it out. And uh, we are going to the next question where will it be integrated with Outlook to generate response to emails? That's an interesting uh, request, Jeff. Uh, Outlook as in Microsoft Outlook, right? Yes, yes. So Outlook, currently we are not planning yet uh, we are starting with gmail because gmail is like you know the most popular email client out there so we are starting with gmail but we if we get enough um feature requests there we might be able to do uh, you know the same on outlook as well yeah awesome awesome and uh next question is uh about uh API, again, we have answered the question about API besides personalities, it's, would it be possible to create expertise? For example, choose the expertise of a lawyer, medical doctor, accountant, scientist, meteorologist, et cetera. Uh, it's, it's the same thing I would say. So if you, you know, are using a personality, it would kind of write exactly like, you know, like, and, and use the same knowledge or the same experience as like a scientist or a, a you know, whatever personality that you're choosing there. Perfect. And Roman asks, how do I use Chatsonic to summarize larger pieces of text, like a 30 page PDF? That is something, as I mentioned before, that is something we are kind of adding in, you know, like in about two weeks. So essentially you will be able to upload your document and uh, based on that, then you'll, you can ask it to do certain actions like summarize it or, you know, answer some question or, you know, do, do a couple of other actions on top. So that is something not yet supported, but we are adding very soon. Yes, yes. And this question is asked by Manoj. Will there be a mobile app in the future? The mobile app actually exists, Manoj, right now. There is a chat sonic mobile app. If you're on the Play Store Android ecosystem, just go to the Play Store, search for chat sonic, and you, you never we know. We have 100,000 downloads there. <laughs> so yeah. we, we silently launched that a couple of weeks back, the Android app. iOS one, we are still waiting for Apple. It's a pain to get it approved by Apple. So we're still waiting there, but that one should be live very soon as well. Um, but yeah, in the meanwhile, if you have an Android phone, you you should be able to go and use that there. You just search for Chat Sonic on the Play Store and you should be able to find it out. Perfect, perfect. And many are asking uh, questions about uh, the prompts and how can we use Chat Sonic to study better and think more critically. To answer this question, Noriana, I'm pasting a link in the chat. Here's where we have given all the prompts that you can check. It's visible to you right now. You, we have collected over a hundred plus prompts, 150, I guess. So go ahead and check out those prompts. Try out those prompts one by one. We also categorize those prompts based on your own use case, marketing, business, SEO, and maybe others. Do, do check it out. All is it in the description down below. Perfect. Perfect. So moving on to the next question, guys, a lot of questions. We'll do the one final comparison between ChatSonic and ChatGPT because there are at least five questions based on that. Sam. Right, right. So a couple of points there, you know, first of all, you know, ChatGPT and ChatSonic inherently, they use the same knowledge base and the same uh, kind of information. So, you know, whatever you use in ChatGPT, same thing you'll find in ChatSonic as well. Um, but on top of that, we we have certain added benefits there where, you know, first of them, first, the, the most important one being that Google integration there. So essentially what we do is we go to Google, we find the most relevant results or the most relevant blog posts or articles about a, a topic that you want to write on. And then we consume that information, then use that to come up with some new uh, piece of content there. So that is kind of like one of the main uh, kind of points there. Apart from that, second thing is the image generation bit that, you know, we showed you with that car example. Third thing we also do is, uh, you know, we have this voice functionality where you can do text to speech and speech to text. And then apart from that, we are also adding uh, kind of integrations with 
right sonic's other uh, content kind of features so for example if you wanted to do um articles you can generate seo optimized articles uh you know through chat sonic itself or you know some of the other things uh, that we have as well and then in the coming one or two weeks uh, there's a lot of very exciting stuff coming up so you should stay stay tuned for that um yeah, I think those are some of the points. Apart from that, there, there's, you know, other things like we have a, you know, a Chrome extension that you can use with the same plan or the same account. You can use the mobile app. You can use the uh, API as well. So a bunch of different things there. I think we have a blog post um, that you can see where we kind of compare right, Sonic with all of these different tools. Like I think someone just mentioned, you know, Perplexity AI and, uh, you know, Lex all of these. And all that, yes. So we, we do have a... Uh, blog post where we compare with like I think 10 or 15 different uh, chat GPT like tools so you, you should check that out yeah perfect perfect moving on to the next question and uh, it is by Ricardo build my own AI we're gonna we, the video is coming out tomorrow Ricardo video is coming out tomorrow we want to show this in a video because that's where I feel you're gonna get answers to most of your questions Add a female personality, 40 to 47-ish. Feedback noted. Tanya, our team is noting the feedback. Thank you so much. But otherwise, do give your feedback and suggestions in the Discord channel. And uh, businessman personality, yes. Please give the suggestion in the Discord channel. We would love to work on it. Any ETA for Slide Sonic? Uh, Tani, so you can sign up for the beta and you're going to get it faster and sooner than everybody else. Moving on to the next question. Is there a chat session for folks new to write Sonic? I will be using that more probably, but all our great modern day features. I'm still pretty new to the AI stuff. Uh, so anonymous attendee, I think you haven't revealed your name here. So we have tutorials on our YouTube. You can just go to our YouTube channel and watch all our tutorials. Plus we have our communities, both on Facebook and discord. You can just feel, pose your questions wherever you're comfortable. And we would love to help you get the most out of this AI stuff. Yes. Initially, when you're new, it might be overwhelming. A lot of options out there, a lot of prompts to work out with, but we're here to help you out in every step of the way. Moving on to the next question. Um, this one is fix the login. I always want to stay signed in. It requests password every single day. I sometimes, you know, what about this stuff? Yeah. Uh, not every single day, I would say. If it is requesting every single day, maybe there's some issue there. Maybe with your ad blocker or maybe on our side, we'll, we'll check that out. So if you can just reach out to the support. But usually we, we have like a two-week uh, window there. So for two weeks, if you just sign in once, you shouldn't have the need to sign in again in the next two weeks. So, um, so that is you know how, how we have right now. So yeah, two weeks, not not one day. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. And would you consider adding different types of image generation, like specifically for logo designs? Um, that is something we do have in our roadmap, you know, like where you can choose between different templates, like you want logos or maybe social media or blog images and that kind. Um, there's no ETS for that, but definitely something that we are considering. Yeah. Perfect. And, uh, Regard, Ricardo, your question is regarding tonality. Yes, you can use an experiment with tonality like sarcasm, etc. It will be useful for your humoristic side. Absolutely. All right. I think last two, three questions, if we can take me now. Absolutely. Absolutely. So are the word limits on a rolling monthly basis or does the word count start over the beginning of the month? So Shannon, the question is like the answer is really simple it resets based on the day you purchase it. Let's say you purchase it on 6th Jan, it resets for you on 6th Feb. I hope that answers your question, uh, Shannon. And the last question is about, uh, guys, last question, what do we pick? Let's pick something we haven't answered. I tried yet. to use Italian language. Shatsonic is able to understand, but I think it struggles a bit. And is there any WordPress plugin coming soon? Yes. These are the two questions. All right. So uh, about the Italian language. So if you just specify, I, I'm not sure if you have specified in the prompt itself that, you know, 
um, write it in Italian or uh, something like that. If you do that, it should be able to answer it in Italian. Uh, if you're still not able to do that, do kind of ping us on support or on in our, on our Discord channel as well, and we'll uh, share a prompt that that should do the job there. And second question regarding the WordPress plugin, we do have a WordPress plugin for WriteSonic where any um, article that you generate using our article writer tool or our Sonic editor feature, um, both of them, you know, integrate with WriteSonic and, and just with one click, you should be able to export the content, uh, whether that is to your WordPress.org site or to your WordPress.com site. So both of them we do support. Um, Integration with ChatSonic, we don't have yet, but what you can do is basically, you know, take the content that you have on ChatSonic, paste it on our, um, you know, article writer, make some changes there if you want, and then kind of click a button and it would kind of export it to your WordPress site. Awesome. Awesome. With that, we have come to the end of this session. And if uh, the one last question, I'm going to take this, it's like, do you have any specific student version uh, pricing for students? Yes. Do ping us on our discord. We verify and then, uh, yes, there's specific pricing for that. So that's it for today's webinar. I hope this session was really useful for you. And we've shared all the resources in the chat section, our prompts list, our Chrome extension, and you can also join our communities and request new features, give us suggestions and just help around play with uh, right Sonic bot, the chat Sonic bot inside Discord. There's just a lot of fun waiting for you inside the Discord server. So do join the Discord server. And yes, this replay will be sent to you for those of you guys who joined in at the later point and you might have missed the previous sections. So thank you so much for joining. And Sam, thank you so much for presenting us the different uh, use cases. And thank you very much, yeah. guys. Really appreciate you sticking, you know, for, you know, until almost the end of the webinar, we almost have... Still, still have more than 130 people. So very cool to see that. And do keep your keep checking out your inboxes. We have very cool things and features that we are launching in the next um, two weeks. And basically, we'll be doing like series of launches. Like every two days, you'll be seeing uh, you know some new launches there. So do keep a lookout on your uh, you know inbox. And we'll be kind of uh doing another webinar very soon so thank you very much for joining once again and have a good rest of your day your e uh, evening and night take care thank you so much guys take care